Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Iris and I am reading to you from my book The Wisdom of the Plant Souls, which is available through the School of Easy Living. The links are somewhere around this video, so check it out if you want to get yourself a copy. And I am reading today um, from the definitions chapter in the beginning of the book. So, um, Soul Level and the Plant Souls have given some information on, um, on some wording that is used in this book. So all the readers and the plant souls and soul level are on the same page and understand the same thing if a term is being used. And right now I'm going to read to you what does soul mean in soul level's view. For the soul level, the soul simply exists as part of the divine and the original. A part, however, which has gained experiences and qualified for certain things and maybe has not qualified for others, which is not set in stone and can be changed when necessary. So, the soul is a somewhat individualized manifestation of the divine. For humans, the soul is your creator even though you are not aware of this to a great extent. Thank God your body's physical essence still knows it and can neither forget nor deny it, and that is important. Since otherwise it would disintegrate, fall ill or die. Especially in your adulthood, you would kill yourself within a couple of days if your cells implemented all that your ego, your emotions and your so very clever mind concoct. Due to the many contradictions not at peace within you, due to living only little clarity and real truth, and due to the fact that so many unhealthy and self-destructive programs and patterns exist and run within and manipulate you. So be glad that your body's physical essence is primarily linked and subject to your soul, for that keeps most of you alive. If only you knew how much easier, better, more beautiful and in harmony your lives could be if your soul did not have to primarily cope with keeping your body's physical essence alive. If you listened to your soul and implemented your soul's impulses and information, your soul created you with all that was bestowed upon you in terms of potential, power and stamina. In collaboration with Mother Earth, your soul acted upon your body's physical essence and determined your constitution. Your soul intended aspects which concern and influence your mind and emotional body, decided what kinds of fields shall be wide and active or not so wide and active, and so on. Your soul cannot influence your ego unless you consecrate it to your soul and commission it deliberately and repeatedly to your soul's service. As the soul created the plan of your life, your soul knows it and could conduct and guide you. So you need not waste strength in detours. But you must learn to listen and prove worthy of the information by observing and implementing it whenever and as far as possible. When you receive such information and instructions on what to do or observe, then it is possible, good, and sometimes very necessary for your own good, and sometimes also for the highest good of all. 
Once you will have advanced collectively, you will understand and realize how your being and actions affect all that is around you and indirectly also all that is in general. And it goes on, but I want to keep this one a little bit shorter and also keep uh, information here for people who um, yeah, actually get themselves the book. Um, it is really not a book that you can read like a novel. Um, it is a book that you can read over and over again. It's not a book that you read from the first page to the last page and you can't, you can't read through it fast and you shouldn't this is a different kind of book and many people who have it and love it um say whenever they are a bit confused or or um don't feel great they or they need a positive impulse they just take the book and open it up on just a random page and they start reading and they are always amazed <laughs> on how great it really helps them uh, to, you know, it's, it's a very uplifting book in, in many ways and it helps people to get more clarity and alignment and, um, strength and freedom it's a powerful book and i want many people to have it so check out the description and click on those links you will be happy with this book i mean i you will it will not make you happy but you will be happy that you bought the book because it's absolutely an improvement for going through life that is like the baseline of the feedback. So many people are really very thankful that they have it. And I think so will you. So am I. I am, I am thankful that I have it for myself. Because this is not me writing down my ideas and thoughts. I, I myself am amazed and humbled when I receive these informations. And, and I think it's amazing that this uh, is my work. <laughs> I'm thankful. Anyway, so um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, see you soon. Bye.